Immediately following that is the great white throne judgment, okay? And this is the resurrection that it talks about at the last day. Because this is the last day of this earth. Because after that, after great white throne judgment is new heavens and new earth. This whole place is going to be brand spanking new. But the great white throne judgment is this, and it talks about this further down in Revelation 20, where it says in verse 12, And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works. Notice how it says the dead. It doesn't say those who have fallen asleep. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. You know, we who are in Jesus will never be judged according to our works. You will never be judged for the bad things that you've done because you have the blood of Jesus covering you. So that's how we know that this isn't us, okay? Yeah, you can smile for that. It's good. It's a good thing to smile for. Yeah, praise the Lord. The dead were judged according to their works by the things that were written in the books. The sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them. So you see there's still people in Hades, even up to the time of the great white throne judgment. And death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one according to their works. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a, a bodily resurrection of all those who are still bound to the earth or bound to the waters. Everyone is coming out. And this is also what's known in Scripture as the separation of the, the sheep and the goats. You know, the sheep, the ones who follow Jesus, will go to the right hand of Jesus. And the goats, the ones who don't follow Jesus, will go to the left. This is the difference. It's salvation or not salvation. That's all it is. Trusting in Jesus or not trusting in Jesus. That's all it is. It says, at this judgment, those who didn't trust in him will be judged for all their works, good and bad. But those who are in him, the blood of Jesus will cover and we will not be judged for them. Praise the Lord, right? Okay, so this is that last resurrection at the last day that they're talking about in the scriptures that Martha was talking about when she was talking about Lazarus. Oh, I know he'll rise again at the last day. That's the last day they were talking about. But they didn't know because they didn't have these writings that there was going to be a resurrection before that, which is the rapture, when the dead in Christ rise first. Okay? So, like I said at the beginning, God will always make a way for his people. If you trust in the Lord, he's going to make a way for you. The Thessalonians were scared. The people who Hymenaeus and Philetus changed their minds, they were just scared that the resurrection had already happened and therefore they didn't have a way to, to go and be with God. And so they were like, okay, well, if I don't have a way to go, then I might as well enjoy this life because this is all I have. Look, God always makes a way for his people. You trust in the Lord, he will make a way for you.